I said that before you, dumb dago. You know, I've been coming in for six years, and six years you've been sticking it to me. I want to know how come. You don't want to know. Yeah, I want to know how come. You want to know? I want to know how. Okay, I'm going to tell you. Because you had the talent to become a good fighter. And instead of that, you became a leg breaker to some cheap second-rate loan shark. Another episode of Mission Statements, a Delta Bravo Urban Exploration Team podcast. It's crazy. It's crazy. crazy. So lucky enough to have been on some of those group chats to hear about the uh, groundwork of this thing going. Yes. Self-admittedly telling you that I would love to help, but not, I don't have any experience or any kind of knowledge as to all of this. So me uh, neither. To, <laughs> yeah, right. To be, I, uh, to be a part of it is cool. It is definitely is definitely cool well yeah well listen this is a delta bravo thing if people don't know who you are my friend over here joe schellinger mr chops 34 on instagram figure throw that out there i know that you don't really care too much about that stuff Mm -hmm. i know it's okay (laughs) but um yeah but um you're you're one of i mean you you weren't there right in the beginning beginning but you're i mean you've been doing this I mean, longer than I have, you know. I, I was I was trying to figure out when it kind of started for me. I guess it was it's either 2014 or 2015. Okay. And you know, didn't it was sort of stumbled on on the page and all this kind of stuff that we do now, right? All the stuff that's the driving sort of force. But you know, I listen. 1991. I'm in high school. House of Pain pops off. Of course. I'm a white dude in Philly that is listening to rap music and metal music and all kinds of stuff going on. Yeah. And, uh, you know, as, I, as I've grown and social media has become what it is, you know, you follow people like that. And Danny was one of the guys that, you know, I followed and just clicking on Twitter and watching stuff going on on Twitter and Instagram. And then obviously, and I'm sure we'll, we'll get into it, but, uh, that's where it started for me. So I'm sitting in my bar in my basement. There's the big house of pain print right on the back bar there. Yeah. With, with you got set, it. Set list, <laughs> set list from Irving Plaza 2017 that Butchie. 20, 20 year anniversary? Uh, 25, 25 year anniversary. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, 25. 25. Um, Butchie handed me that set list over the rail and uh framed it up i got my house of pain bottles wrong bottle by the way i was i was told that i got some <laughs> other set list stuff around here so we're very <laughs> finicky about fakes and fraudulent stuff and the things have to be real and we're we're all very very detail oriented dude uh, uh, you know Nako makes fun of me because the the, the, <laughs> the bottle the, the bottle the house of pain bottle from the video right the original one that was at old town bar in new york city stolen right you've heard that story the, old, the original one from the video is stolen they found a replacement i'm in the beer business that's what i do every single day thought it would be a cool piece for my back bar i go hunting for bottles i try and match up twist offs and pop offs and curvature mm-hmm. bottles all that kind of stuff it's very close to a heineken bottle all right i make this thing i grab a sticker on ebay i got whenever they pop up i i try and buy those stickers and I make the bottle up. I post it up. I'm all proud of myself. And he's like, wrong bottle. Oh, wrong, wrong bottle. It killed me. <laughs> and, and to be honest with you, I fought it a little bit. I was like, nah, that, you know, Valentine made a bottle. It was a little more cone shaped, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, okay, whatever. Like, yeah. whatever. Yeah, he'll let, he'll let you rock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. And Nako, you know, Nako's like, dude, wrong bottle. So every time he, every time we, it, it gets referenced, he always sort of make fun of me about the wrong oh, bottle. Oh. So I actually had to edit my post from, if you go back on our page and look at our page, you'll see I edited the post that that's the wrong bottle, but it's as close as I could, I could get. And I found right. What well, kind of bottle really is it though? It's a Valentine bottle, and it took me a really long time to find a picture 
because Ballantyne, not to get it bore you with, with brewing knowledge, but no, it's Ballantyne, fun. Ballantyne, the, the name of Ballantyne has been bought and sold a bunch of times and they had a resurgence, right? Probably in the nineties. Yeah. And they had those bottles, but you trust me, you, I have hit up collectors. I have hit up eBay. I have followed Facebook marketplace. My, my, <laughs> my, my suggested for you is Ballantyne and brewery uh, collectibles and all kinds of stuff pops off because I'm trying to, I'm trying to find this bottle. So at some point I know a guy that has one. He told me he wouldn't get, he wouldn't part with it, <sighs> uh, but I know he has it. And we're every so often I shoot him a little message and, and, uh, and, and try and get it from him, but he hasn't gotten it from me. So that's how I started, right? So I followed Danny, tried to get in on whatever was going on, shows that were going on, whatever he was doing, Outsiders House stuff before museum, before yeah. all that, you know, just yeah. that, you know, that picture like he talks about on his Blackberry and stuff. Yeah. And then, you know, th these, these, these mashes start popping up and guys are, are hitting them and, I'm like, damn, what, what a cool idea, right? Like, yeah. what a, it's a cool thing, right? And, and I, you know, being from Philly, and now I live in the suburbs of Philly, but being from Philly, you know, it's like, oh, the Rocky Steps, right? Automatically, mm -hmm. the Rocky Steps. I'm and guilty. Then, I'm guilty. I, right, couldn't, I, I couldn't wait, but I, I'll tell you one thing. Sorry to cut you off, but when I finally made it to the Rocky Steps, I did not... I will never, and I refuse to run up them. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. You're allowed. Won't do it. You're allowed. I won't do You're it. Allowed. Go on. <laughs> so, so the you know the Rocky Steps becomes like the first thing. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna post up on the Rocky Steps. If you don't hold on a minute. If you don't mind, I'm gonna pour myself a little something. Just, nah, go ahead. You know, Have one for me a, since I don't drink. Have a couple two tree for me. So I went. Little side note. I went with something a little on the pop culture side. So this is. Sinatra Select from Jack Daniels. Nice. So Frank Sinatra's blend of, and I'm opening this tab with the, what the heck is the name of this thing? Canco Keg Line. This was a gift sent to me by Alan Perry. Okay. Uh, shout Alan, out to Alan Perry. Shout out to Alan Perry, who you know is in our crew. Yeah. Uh, Alan knows I'm a beer guy. I'm in the business. He sent me a, a nice letter. This was uh, one of his, I think his grandfather's uh keg lined key so I oh, keep, very that, cool. keep that on my bar to open up so like i said the 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 rocky steps was kind of a thing right the rocky steps was kind of thing and you know trying to think of what movies what what movies were were filmed then you got you know you go down the the hip-hop genre the music Oof. genre all of that stuff it's then you go so much into the the you know our Philly mob scene genre, which you're on a you know you're on a on a mission with the mob hits right now. Cool logo, by the way. Yes. Shout so, out to Fred Vector okay. Vector Sector. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Fred Fred is he's good people, man. Yeah. He's a good dude. He is. He is good people. He's a good dude. Um, but you know it's like you start to see this stuff and then it's well, all right. I, there's this little small crew of guys and they're all talking back and forth and they got their the language going and I'm this, you know, outsider coming in. And there was a lot of us at that time. Right. So people were following and, Hey, this is cool. This is cool. And then it was, all right, well, now I gotta, now I gotta go outside. Right. One of our things, right. Go outside, get outside, outside. Get outside. And, you know, the message that sort of came across right from the jump was, you know, get out of the house, go do something, go see something you've never seen before. Get out of your comfort zone. We talked about comfort zone before this thing started up, but, mm -hmm. um, and go find something to do, you know, Yeah. Find something to do. So it became a little bit of that, like, all right, let me look into, let me look into Philly besides the Rocky steps. Right. <laughs> and see what's going on. Right. Cause I can't be corny and post up. My first thing is going to be the Rocky steps. So um, my first post ended up being a Rocky, a Rocky post from the zoo. Right. So awesome. Yeah. Right. When he's, when he's, when they're walking in the zoo. So that was my first one. And then, you know, and then the, for a while there, it was our, just our sort of homepage that was up. So I think the only admi administrators were, were posting stuff up at first. And then Danny made it a group page, right? sent out all these invites to everybody that was following. And then all of a sudden everybody could post up and start to do their own thing. Right. Everybody had the, the ground rules laid, right? 
which some people don't follow them and it irks me still to this day. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. It's okay. But, you know. Sometimes I feel like it's not okay. You should know by now. You're the police. You're the police. And it's okay to be the cops. It's okay. <laughs> so, you know, post up the address. Try and get a logo on there. All no, get a logo on there. Right, right? Get a logo on there. Get, get a logo on there. Post up the address. Tell us exactly where you are. And I, I thought it was cool that, you know, that all these guys were doing it because then you had an opportunity to go out and, and really see. So, you know, you, you look at, you know, LL on the, on, on the album cover and you look at all this yeah. stuff in New York and it's like, damn, well, I get up to New York every once in a while. Maybe I'll get a chance to see that. Or if I go such and such, then, as you know, you start dissecting pictures and start dissecting images and then you're trying to find images so that you can find spots and mm-hmm. go down that wormhole but it it became you know it became a, a little more than just something to follow right it became sure. something to, to to kind of get involved in and the other thing too and, and this is like something i was talking to you earlier like something i wanted to touch on about you know about our crew is you know the people in our crew are awesome you know, yeah, man. The people, yeah, the people that are involved in the friends that I've made outside of, you know, Cyberland. We were talking about that with, you know, Zoom meetings and all that kind of stuff. But the, yeah. the friendships that I've made with a lot of people. Yeah. You know, uh, and 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 not just not just Danny Boy from House of Pain. Right. Is wishing me happy birthday now. That kind of shit. Right. It's yeah. crazy to me. That's still nuts to me. I told you that when we were in Virginia. It's yeah. like. You know, Danny leans over to me and says, if you'd have told me, you know, 20 years ago, 25 years ago, we'd be watching the dude from Lost Boys play the sax. That was, yeah. What, what I wouldn't believe it. What did I, I do? The I double, f- the, what was it? What would you call it? The double finger on the, <laughs> yeah, the on the touch. Yeah, whatever that, whatever that crazy move was you did. Touch you it. Touched the, you touched the sax, you know. I did. You the challenge. <laughs> but, you know, when he said that to me, when we were standing there watching him, you know, this guy, play saxophone or whatever capello guy's yeah. awesome yeah. yeah he's phenomenal the mm-hmm. show is fantastic right <laughs> fully entertaining fully brought you back right to the movie the whole thing yeah and i said to him listen if you would told me 25 years ago i'd be watching the guy from lost boy standing next to the dude from house of pain no i wouldn't, I wouldn't believe you either you know what of course i mean not. yeah so so i you know outside of that sort of piece of like hey that's that's cool yeah the the guys in the crew uh, have been great right they have been great and I think the, the, the contributions to having this thing grow and have you know invite people in and make them feel sort of welcome when it you know uh, yeah. a guy just hit me up a guy just hit me up on a dm from overseas somewhere and he was like yo how how can i get a logo i want to post up my first mash you know just hit me out of the blue like yeah. the fact that it's friendly enough it's not this exclusive club and all this kind of stuff right. and and you know the, the idea is to just bring people in show them what we're doing and go out and do it yourself and yeah, encourage and, them, and, and encourage do them to do it to, yeah to, and go explore whatever you happen to be into there's no rules as far as stuff like that mm-hmm. you know what i mean like yeah i go for i go from serial killers to mobsters to horror movies to athletes to old classic like i'm all over the map i have my phases but you know i I, it's it's all over the place and that's a great thing about it there's no like you have to do this it's strictly that it's not like that yeah i think that you know being from the from a metropolitan city environment is nice right Mm because you have all of those you have all of those genres and all those subjects or category whatever you want to call them it's endless to, to go after and you know it, it really is endless it it's really endless is. dude you know i fuck i did washington's crossing when washington crossed the delaware is 20 minutes from my house right 20, right 20 minutes north of my house i was up there with my son i found some old school painting of washington crossing the delaware tried to match up the peninsula and the island and this just so it would look cool for the match. I don't know where he crossed exactly, but right. I tried to find as best as I could. Right. It's that just, vicinity. It's right there. Yeah. And just for the mash, you know what I mean? And it's like, I could do something like that. And then I could go do, you know, Teddy Pendergrass from the duets cover right on, on, on the Schuylkill river, having to coerce some kid that was an intern 
for pen rowing to let right. me build to let me in the building to walk on the dock to go outside to get the right mash and you know you talk about it in some of the other in some of the other episodes you know about letting people know what you're doing just be nice about it and yeah hey you know i showed him this picture and i was like hey man i'm just trying to get to this dock to see is the boat still there are the yeah. dock boards still the same are they laid out the same it's funny across the across the river from that from that location is all redone so the schuylkill expressway runs there and it's been all kinds of construction and changes but there's a there's like a crisscross of of roadway that it's like that's the spot that's where i need to be yeah and before that kid let me in i mean he was 18 years old he was doing a summer internship at at, at penn or whatever it was he was running day camps or something i was like dude i'll be i'll be five minutes i promise you i just gotta i gotta make sure i match up the board yeah this board this crossway in the background let me get my shot and i'll roll and he was like man that's pretty cool what you're doing you know yeah a lot of people are super interested once you stand there and talk to them and and explain what you're doing like this past weekend i had conversations with people i've never seen before in my life mm -hmm. like i just found like you were saying I, i'm on this mob kick and i'm not even sure exactly where it started i mean the, in my neighborhood where i am right now within a mile radius there's such a talk about going down a rabbit hole i mean <laughs> one one little social club and then you find out someone got killed here and then who was involved and then what stemmed from it and then you go from this person oh this guy was involved but this guy was next thing you know you're 55 mashes in on social clubs <laughs> and mafia shit right. and it just gets like that because there's so much and i find that stuff it's true crime it's it all happened like right here. So it's super interesting. Yeah. And, and I, I I was, I got on this, like the real life Lufthansa heist from Goodfellas stuff. Yeah, and they're, they're, they're pretty cool those posts. Yeah. Dude, like I went crazy trying to find that I found it. And it was, it's one of my favorite that I've done is not necessarily the mash, but just the hunt and actually finding it. Yeah. is is when they found Stax's van you know with sam jackson's character in, in in goodfellas but the real spot where it was on east 95th in canossi we would just shout, shout out to ill bill you know yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. so yeah. it's like it's I found, yesterday or two days ago what happened a new single from yes new once upon a time in canossi you know, let me tell you him and gore-tex love that canossi bro. <laughs> That's you know one. Yeah, I, I lived there for years as a kid, like for years. But um, and then and then from there, I was like, all right, if I find where they if I find the spot where the, where the cops found the van that he was supposed to get rid of, I need to find where he hid out and where he was killed. Right. And and one was in Brooklyn, the other one was in Queens. So I find the spot in the basement where he, where Stax Edwards, the real guy, was killed. And there's like a, an older guy sitting on the steps of this house. And I'm like, uh, I'm like, I'm here. I got to take, got to take this picture, you know? So it's like, Oh, how you doing? And, and Nikki has a, a brand new Kia soul. So as soon as I walk over, he's like, Oh, how's that Kia? And I was like, Oh, it's good. Bro. So next thing you know, we just start talking about the car. Right. And he's like, I'm sorry. You were going to ask me a question. I was like, yeah, how long do you live here? He's like, Oh, like 20 years. I was like, okay, do you have any idea what happened in the basement of this house? He's like, oh, yeah. He's like, yeah, the guy got killed here a long time ago. And I was like, yeah. I was like, okay. <laughs> and then, like, two other guys came from the backyard, and he started talking to him. He's like, oh, yeah. And then I got more information that Tommy Simone, Joe Pesci's character, and whoever else killed Stax was looking, like, three houses down in that basement, but they had the wrong house. They were about to break into a different house. Wow. And they realized Stax was in this one. So I got, like, this whole thing. I'm bullshitting with three, four guys. Right. About this, about the Lufthansa heist, bro. Like, it's, it's awesome. It's yeah, it's awesome. this is so fucking cool. That's a great story. It's yeah, a great, it's a great story, and the fact that you got the location, and you went after it, and I think that that you know that wormhole piece that you're talking about, like, you know, ten more spots come out of the one spot you're looking at, or 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 the stories that come out of it, or the deep dive that you come out of it. You know, okay. I did uh, with Phil. I think you just did you just recorded with phil maybe a little while ago i did it didn't drop yet actually we're on podcast time okay. he dropped a couple weeks ago well great episode with phil yeah man <laughs> uh so 
you know, Phil hit me up and, and Phil was like, oh, I'm going to be in Philly, blah, blah, blah. All right, great. Hey, let's meet up. We meet up in Rittenhouse Square. All right, we're at in Rittenhouse Square. The the spot from Trading Places where Eddie Murphy was on the scooter, that entrance. <laughs> yes, that, that entrance that so we're, good. <laughs> yeah, that we're going to meet at. So we meet up, we go have a beer, whatever. And, uh, you know, he said, hey, I'm trying to hit these these locations from six cents yeah and six cents has been done a billion times whatever who cares yeah. i I've, care? d- I've done some of it too when i was in philly yeah so he said you know the out the exterior shots from the school are here and that's kind of what everybody has done everybody has done sort of that red door and that whole piece yeah he's like i'm trying to hit the indoor spots mm, go he, inside yeah and he was like the indoor spots are not that school they were filmed somewhere else and he's mm-hmm. like, no one has ever hit them. I've never seen them. There's nothing online about the lo- film location, nothing. He's like, here's the pictures. And he just sends me over the pictures. And I start. Challenge. Uh, it's a challenge. Yeah, right. It's a challenge. Plus, I got like a guest in my in my city now. I got it. Who yeah. listen, feels ridiculous, right? Yeah. 70,000, 100,000. I remember a billion followers he has. Red, you know, blue check marks. Yeah. The whole nine. His mashes are fantastic. He's yes. a killer, right? Feels like I need I need help trying to hit this. So I take a little bit of pride in that. Sure. So he sends me a handful of pictures, three screenshots of Bruce Willis in a school. And one of them is front of in front of this big, ornate stained glass window. One of them's in a hallway with lockers tile you know tile wall and this sort of like marble kind of cement floor whatever now i'm looking and looking and looking and i'm like man this is this one's difficult this is hard and i'm looking online maybe i'll be the guy to find it where it's at online that's out of the out of the question right so then i said well if they film this here let's look at the schools in that area so i hop on google maps and just start doing this the search you know like mona was talking about up and up and down, down, up and down streets, yeah, like up and down streets. Yeah. On, on Google Maps, it's just try and get that. No schools, but what I found was that Philadelphia has a pretty crazy Gothic type architecture, especially within the school district. Right. And then I go down a wormhole of you know school district Gothic architecture, Philadelphia, putting whatever keyword I can into Google. And then I start getting all of these stained glass windows start popping up on the images, you know, Google uh-huh. images, all of these stained glass windows. And I'm like, okay, no, that's not it. There's six panels, then eight panels, whatever it was. No, that's not it. That's not it. Go back on. Then I expand the search a little bit further, a little bit further, a little bit further, literally on Google Maps going street by street, typing in school, typing in whatever to try and find a pinpoint. And at one point, I'm, you know, gazing through and i see this big stained glass in front of the school on google maps and i was like no shit it was like full-blown all-nighter i was like, how good was that feeling though dude, <laughs> dude it felt so good so, so I, know. I zoom in find out what school it is it's been like two or three different schools it's now i think a junior college or something like that so then i start searching i start searching that I look at interior shots there online. I go on Instagram. I type in the school address on Instagram. Here's a little tip. You type in the address on Instagram. All of these kids are posting pictures in the hallways of this school. Oh, right? Now, they have no idea what I'm looking at. No. I'm looking at, is it 10 tiles high in that hallway? Is it 11 tiles high in that hallway? Yes. Does the baseboard have the same curvature? Yeah. Is the back, is the steps, is the stairwell, is the hand railing, is the butt, yeah. all these pieces looking, looking, looking. And then there's a picture in front of that stained glass window that's oh, in, in the hallway. And I was like, no fucking way, man. I can't believe I found this. And I hit up all the screenshots, sent them all over to Phil. I'm like, Phil. I found it. Like ah. it felt so good to be like, I found it, dude. I found it. Yeah. So I sent him to him. He ends up going the next day. Mr. Nice Guy Phil with the tripod and the camera and the, the, the dossier. And here's what I'm trying to do. Gets with the custodian. Custodian walks him around. He gets killer shots from inside that nobody has done. He was like, bro, nobody's got this. Nobody's no, got this. no one. So, you know, being a being a part of that. 
you know, then connects me to Phil, right? So now I have this thing with Phil and I have a, 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 a connection with what he's doing and, and, and what I'm doing. Like I said, we went out and we had beers and it was like, it's crazy. It was crazy. Yeah. It was crazy. But I think that that's, you know, for me, I never did any of this kind of stuff before, right? Like I never went and searched out. Yeah. Historical spots, Independence Mall, the Liberty Bell, all that kind of shit in Philly. Yeah. But not these spots. And there's something to be said, you know, not only doing the research of like, man, I want to find Teddy Pendergrass on the Schuylkill. Yeah. There's only so many rivers in Philadelphia. There's only so many waterways. I know this background, blah, blah, blah. Or, you know, going and, 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 and hitting Joe Frazier's grave, right? Yeah. Joe Frazier's Joe Frazier, Philly born or Philly of bred, course. I should say, born born in the South. But Philly Bray's a Philly guy, and I love boxing. I love Joe Frazier. He's my absolute favorite boxer. Finding out where he's buried, driving there, yeah, seeing his gravestone is crazy to me. Dude, right? I do that. I mean, you know, and, and, and the guys that are in the group and everything know. I mean, dude, I. <laughs> to a lot of people might be creepy. I walk around cemeteries all the fucking time. Yeah. I saw you hit the Angel I saw you hit Angelo Bruno spot in Delaware County. Yes. So I so obviously you're down that mob that mob run. I've been on yeah, that was a while run. back. That was like two, three years ago. Or yeah, it was it was a while and I looked at it, I was like, oh no shit. He's buried in Delaware County and it's you know public and it's open and all that stuff. Yeah. I'm like I'm and then I said, you know what, Jimmy had to have hit this. Jimmy, I know Jimmy hit it. And I went back into the into the into the files, so to speak. Uh -huh. I found it. I'm like, all right, cool. At least I know it's there and it's still there. I can go and take that picture. But oh, I've been cool. down, I've been down the Angelo Bruno, Chicken Man Testa, uh -huh. all this stuff since you've been posting stuff up. And then you know, Nikki Scarfo, John Stanford, Joey Marino, oh, yeah. still, still, you know, still around in Florida, all these kind of spots. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know. I think outside of learning the background to all of this, right? The, the fact of going out, doing something that you're not necessarily comfortable with. Right. I've been in some crazy neighborhoods with me too. With the, the one of the, when I, when I first bought a, I, I bought a DSLR Canon camera, super nice camera. And I'm walking the streets like, in in Kensington, you've been there. I've Dude, been that, North Philly, that, that West, fucking place, man. North Philly, West Philly, South Philly, wherever, Frankfurt, all these areas, you know, with the super nice camera peeping around, trying to get a shot. And all I'm trying to do is line up the window with the tree so that when I match <laughs> it, the window and the tree line up and everything. I know. <laughs> but going out of, you know, going outside of the, the comfort zone and, and getting out and really doing something, that experience of getting out and doing something completely different, I would have, I would have never done. I would have no. never done. I'm just not that type of dude. Right. But you know, the, I would say that the outside of the hobby kind of aspect of it and being, you know, being proud of presenting your work and all that kind of stuff on the sure. page and seeing what guys have to say or whatever, just the, the, the getaway. Yeah. Right. The getaway for the, for the day or for the weekend or for your vacation to get, you know, I have three kids. I have, you know, uh, two boys and a girl, two special needs boys that, um, you know, have a very, very rare genetic uh, thing going on that's been our lives for the last 18 years. Dude, I give you, like, not to get into it, but I give you nothing but props and the absolute utmost respect. Yeah, I, mean, I see your posts. I read all of your stuff. And, dude... Yeah, it's work. The props and respects to you, my man. Yeah, it's 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 work, and it's you know, like I said, for the last eight, my son's eighteen; he just turned eighteen, and for the last eighteen years, that's been my life, right? Trying to deal with, and it's a it's a very very rare, very sort of unknown. It's got a little bit of uh, Delta Bravo searching to it, you know. Yeah. I've I've been online and gone down wormholes. They're they're one of only a very, you know, select handful of kids that, that have been diagnosed. There's probably more people that have the same sort of thing going on, but as far as full diagnosis and then the sharing of information, which is kind of in touch with what we yeah. do. Right. So me and my wife are, are very much into sharing as much information as we can. So we're part of all kinds of tests. We've been driving, we've driven all over the place, part of NIH, National Institute of Health tests, all this kind of stuff. But my point, 
have all this stuff going on, right? I'm in the beer business, which is a, a, a pretty crazy industry, right? It's high, high stress sales floor, full blown, you know, whatever, mm -hmm. uh, all this stuff going on. And then I can take a Saturday when I know my wife's going to take the kids down the shore or whatever it is. And I got Saturday to myself and I can go, all right, let me go to my phone. Let me pull out that folder I have with, uh, you know, the, the Delta Bravo not done folder. Yeah, I, I think we all had uh, the, yeah, the right. ones that hit spots. I have a, and it's always growing. <laughs> and try and, and try and put together a, a route for the day. My wife's not going to understand it. She's like, whatever. I don't understand what you're doing, why you're doing that. I try to explain it. She don't really care, whatever. It's fine. But, but she's like, have fun, you know, go out and have fun. I know that's what you're doing. And I'll throw in a, a eat spot there or someplace I've never been to, to have, you know, this guy's cheesesteak or this spot's, you know, bowl of yeah. snapper soup or whatever it is. I just to fill out the day and then go out and, and crush a, a, a mission, so to speak. Yeah. Crush a mission, hit 10 spots, get home, have the time to, to put them up, you know, to, to have that release. Yeah. Of just like, man, I don't have to worry about my kids. I don't have to worry about my job. I'm not, yeah, I'm not counting cases and profitability and all this kind of stuff, but I'm just taking this time, this little half a day or day of my own time and getting away yeah. and going and doing some pretty cool stuff. And, you know, guys that you've interviewed before, have talked about being in that like exact location where that guy was standing when, you know, your good fellow's story about standing in the intersection there or in the middle of the street. But On Alfred Lane, I'm standing in the middle, looking left and right. I'm like, I'm yeah. standing right where, where Ray Liotta walked back across the street at the pistol whip of the guy with that pissed off face. I'm like, <laughs> this is it. Right? I'm like, I'm standing right here. I felt like I was on the set of a movie, but I'm yeah. just on a block in fucking New Rochelle in New York. Yeah. I, you know, I, I've gotten that same sort of feeling in my hometown, right. In, in sections of the city that I've driven by 10 billion times, Yeah, you know, the atomic hoagie shop from Rocky and that walk back that he does with little Marie and they cut through, you know, they cut through the schoolyard and he's, and, and, and he's talking about friends and what you need to do. And, yeah. you know, to be in that, that spot. And I, you know, I've seen that movie 9 billion times, right. Me too. But there's a definite feeling in my hometown. And like I said, to have that getaway and just be able to do that for a day and put my stuff together and, and present it to, to you guys and just share the, share the knowledge a little bit. Yeah. Is, is fantastic. And it's a real sort of, of getaway from all of it. So I like that, you know, we did, we had some couch sessions during COVID and all that stuff. Yeah. And some guys have tried to, you know, do some, some Google map stuff, mashes and all that kind of stuff, but there's really nothing that compares to, you no. know, finding it out, finding that address, doing the Google map verification, making uh, sure where it's at. Yeah. And then, and then going out and, and doing it. And, you know, it was one of those, it was one of those missions. So early on, early on, there was a ton of stuff happening, right? Guys are posting all the time, all the time, all the time. And obviously there's an affinity for the beasties in our crew, right? So the beasties, of course. beastie boys, everybody's into beasties. And I sort of made it my own like challenge to find a beasties location, but in Philly, like I didn't want to drive to New York and just pick a damn corner. Cause they took pictures on every everywhere. Corner, yeah. right? But to find a beasties picture in Philly. Yeah. And you know, you put in all the keywords, you try and find all the stuff, whatever, whatever. And I stumbled on a picture of uh, of the Beasties playing basketball with Anthony Mason Sick. in the street. Looks like it's a street. Yeah. Now, on the side of that picture is a pretty big highway, right? And if you know Philadelphia, I-95 runs right through Philadelphia, all the way through from top to bottom. And I'm like, well, it's either that or it's, you know, it's the Google Expressway, but there's no real parks over that way that that have this and it doesn't overhang and all that. so it's fdr park right so uh -huh. i'm like that's fdr park because i know that i know that look i've seen it so fdr park is across the street from all the stadium complex right all the sports stadium complexes sure. 
So I've been there nine billion times. I'm like, I've, I've been, I've been through there a billion. Yeah, times. right. I'm like, I know that spot. I know that spot. So one of those days, one of those getaway days, I take a drive down South Philly. Now I grew up in the northeast part of the city. Um, so it's a, you know, it's a half hour drive or whatever from where I live now is about an hour, but I go down and I just hop on this access road in FDR and it sort of loops FDR and I go, you know, I'm going all the way around, I'm going all around. And then all of a sudden I'm on this curve and there's I-95 just in the distance and the uh -huh. curve is right. And I was like, no fucking way. This is it. <laughs> Pull my car over. I probably took 40 shots. Yeah. Because yeah. the fence line the 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 top of the fence the fence post yeah is, is, is it oh, this i pillar? know all about those little angles man is, yeah. it, is it this pillar of 95 or is it this pillar of 95 yeah. so it turns out the picture was from when they played Lollapalooza at okay. fdr park and that was like the hangout spot for what was that 94 i saw the bc the boy i saw bc boys randall's island Lollapalooza 94 it had to be then, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, no fucking way. I finally found this beastie spot. To me, in my head, made up stories in my head. I'm like, I, this is legit. Now I'm in. Like, yeah. Everybody can say shit. I'm not posting the Rocky Steps. I'm not posting all the same old, same old Pat Steaks, Gino Steaks, all this kind of shit. I'm like, this is a beastie spot that has no markers in it other than 95 and the curve in a park. And they're, and, and they're playing ball with, I got my hand cut correct, like Anthony Mason. Correct. Like, <laughs> so good. awesome. So good. So yeah. I did that. I did that mash. And I had also had a picture of MCA with the, with the monks mm -hmm. underneath, underneath 95. Okay. Underneath 95. So that leads me to go, all right. I'm parking the car. I'm walking under 95. Let's go see where this is at. And it was the same thing. Is it this pillar? Is it this pillar? Is it this pillar? Mash it up. Good. Go on our page. They're all on there. Search Beastie Boys in Philadelphia and you'll see it. But, you know, that was part of a day. That was part of a, a, a full day of going out and hitting all these spots. I hit old baseball stadium locations. The stadiums aren't even there anymore. Yeah, uh, probably one or two rocky spots. What I did, it might have been the time I did Angelo Bruno's hit, and I did tick, uh, Chicken Man Testa's hit uh, right around the corner from each other, pretty much. Yeah, um, but I posted them up, posted them up, posted them up, and I'm super excited. And side note, I don't know uh, uh, Photoshop or any of the. I don't do any of that stuff on my phone. So I know. In, I don't do my, anything on my phone either. I just take pictures and I drop boxes to myself and then I put them on here and then I do my thing. Yeah, I don't have Photoshop. I don't know how to use it. I actually do everything in Excel or I'm you, in, in, in PowerPoint. You so, told me that after we did our whole thing that we'll get into. Go yeah, on. right. So you're like, I think you're going to be mad at me. Don't get <laughs> mad. I do it. <laughs> yeah. So I, you know, I, for work and shit, I build presentations from our sales team and all that kind of stuff. So I'm, I use PowerPoint all the time. Yeah. I'm like, I could, listen, I could put this picture up here. I could take this logo. I could crop it and make it a circle and put it in the corner and make it look right. good, save it as a picture, done. See, I don't know how to do I would never <laughs> be, wouldn't know how to do that. I have no I, idea. And I still do it that way. It's the only way that I do it. I haven't been able to, to get out in quite some time. I think the last time I really went out and hit something was with you when we did All City. But, you know, I go through this day. I put all these things together. I throw it out there and and – and Danny throws out, man, you're, you know, you were on a mission today or you, you were, you went, you went all in. I think he said, yeah. you went all in today. And I said to him, I said, you know, just trying to earn that orange and black logo. Mm. So Danny's a, a fan of the Broad Street Bullies, yeah. Dave Schultz, Dave the Hammer Schultz. I actually sent him, this is, man, this is, it's coming back, but it's got to be five years ago or something. I found this autographed. 45 record from dave the hammer schultz oh, and i was sorry. like it was cheap on ebay or whatever and i was like look that yeah. you know it's a cool piece to have uh -huh. but i sent it to danny he was like holy shit this thing's great you know he's like i was looking at that on ebay i saw that thing but i said to him i said you know just trying to earn that you know orange and black philadelphia logo uh -huh. and a guy that used to used to be in the crew he, he did some design work stuff he was like yo make up the logo and then there was this back and forth conversation of, is it a, 
you know, black outer circle, orange inner circle, black yeah. inner circle. Gotta be right, orange, dude. Yeah. Orange. And and it's crazy, like the detail that we go to. So the, you know, the conversation was, well, is it is it Philly? Are we putting Philly? Because Philadelphia is so such a long name. You know, might not look right. Whatever. Is it just Philly? And I was like, well, the the official abbreviation of Philly is Phila, P H I L A. Yeah. And days like that's the one to use, you know. Yeah. So, you know, within an hour. Boom, my logo is up after going on a full day of missions. Nice. I, listen, I'm not going to lie on this thing. I'm geeking out. I'm like, oh, cool. yeah, dude. Listen, no, I, 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 everyone, oh, uh, whatever. Like, think like you're too cool for school. Get the fuck out of here. You're no. excited. You just don't want to admit it. Stop. Yeah. Of course, I geeking, bro. I was geeking out. And then I had, you know, then I had our own logo for Philly. And some other guys have used it, guys that have come into town and, grab that logo off the site but it was you know it's a pretty cool thing right because then it's like you're in you know what i mean yeah. people know your name and and you know other people and there's all these side conversations that are happening in 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 dms about what's going on or where can i go or hey i'm coming into town or yo i'm coming up for the house of pain show can we get yeah. together and you know next thing you know me and, and rob brady and mike and butchie and ds and we're we're in a cab or i'm in a cab they're driving whatever to go to Katz's Deli and having, you know, late night after show sandwiches and all this kind of stuff that's outside of the realm of, you know, going out and finding a location. You, you end up making some some pretty good friends. And yeah, dude. Having some pretty I, good... that's, that's like the unspoken thing. Like people who don't know, they'll just see the thing on the internet. Oh, that's cool. But there's so much behind that one location, that mash that went into that. The huh. whole day, the, the 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 hunting for it, the huh. the mission getting there, the traffic, the you know, like on, on Danny's episode, on the first episode, it's like, oh yeah, you know, you know, you'll have people complaining, oh, I need more coffee, I gotta pee, my pussy hurts, this, that. <laughs> but, but then you know, but then you get that, you you get to the to your destination and you nail it. It's a great feeling, dude. Yeah, it's an awesome feeling, and I think that you know, when you see somebody else go and hit a spot that they've been looking for that, you know, something that, you know, interests them and they go out and get something or, you know, my, one of my favorite, 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 most favorite spots that was hit was the, the rooftop from beach street. And you talked about it with Mona yes. in, in, in his episode, you know, Danny threw that challenge out, go back to that episode and listen to it. Cause I think Mona talks all about it, but yeah. the, to see that happen, like in yeah. real time and, you know, uh, Danny sent Butchie the that that the first Delta Bravo silver ring. Butchie has one. I've seen it. I had one commission made from those guys out there. That it's, it's to see him get that because you know they 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 showed the button and got up on the roof and took that spot, which was like white whale spot. Yeah, man, it's crazy, man. And the follow that top spots always get an, an extra. Yeah, you know, I got to get that on my resume. I don't have one of them. You have no rooftops. I have. I I have one rooftop, and yeah, that's the Carmine Galante hit. Yeah, which is fantastic, dude. That was yeah. fucking crazy too. I was trespassing, climbing over bicycles, fucking access ladders, throwing hitches. That if if we get, open, if 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 we get the Jay Z spot, I think we were talking about maybe hitting that on the dude on the All City two point oh. Plus one because we got to throw a little bit of long island, long island. i want to hit that chuck d spot so i know i, I i've been out to long island several times and i didn't go near it because i know you want to hit that i'm not i'm gonna leave that one alone i'm gonna save that for you because i wasn't too far from there but i'm like nah, i can't do that i can't do that that's stepping all over your shoes bro you sent me that picture like i need to get this i'm not gonna do that i'll do it with you Right. It's been in my phone for so long, but we'll get it. We'll get it. But we're, we're going to get it, you know, to, 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 to see other people go out and do it and get it done is just as exciting as, you know, me going out and, or, you, you know, whoever going out and, and doing it. And, you know, it just, it, it, it brings back like what we were talking about with that, that connection to people, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like the, there are some guys in this crew that are, I genuinely call friends and I've only met them, a handful of times, some correspondence wow. back and forth. Yeah. Christmas card here and there, you know, what she sends out a, a Donde Christmas card, a, yeah. you know, Donde Christmas card, or 
you know, the, the I'll tell you what, I'll tell you the story. The real, like, holy shit, fucking, this is a real thing with real people behind it moment. Yeah. Was I told you about my my kids, right? So my son is a um is a huge baseball fan, right? So he, he loves yeah. playing baseball, he loves watching baseball. And what I did when I first started following the, the, the crew and all the stuff as guys would post a lot or often, or there'd be correspondence and comments, then you go and you follow them on their own personal thing. And sure. you follow their, you know, see whatever it is, however they curate their lives is yeah. what you see, whether it's the, the truth or not, that's what you get. Right. But I, I got a very simple, I got a very simple DM that said, Hey, give me your address. I got something for you. Right. So you're familiar with that. We're, I guess yeah, with you. With right. With me. So, I get this very simple, hey, give me your address. I want to send you something. And this is, you know, Butchie. And Butchie, you know, Butchie's posting up a billion spots. He did the, he did the 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 Beach Street rooftop, right? So he's 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 in. And I'm thinking the same thing. Like, is it stickers? Is he sending me this? Is he sending me that? What's he sending me? And I get this box in the mail. And I'm like, eh, same, same story. Like this box is not just stickers. What what's going on? Yeah. And I open the box up and there's about 50 baseball cards in plastic sleeves in this box. And I'm like, Oh, that's cool. He sent, you know, he sent Luke some pictures cause he knows he's a baseball fan. Cause I always post shit about my, my kids baseball and all stuff. Yep. I started looking through the cards and they're all pictures of my son from wow. all these fat past posts, posts of us at citizens bank park posts of my son up the bat post of him sitting in the dugout, all this kind of shit. Butchie being in, having an affinity for graphic design and all this, you know, all the stuff that we do, logos and mashing and all. He takes all these pictures, pulls them off of Facebook and puts them on old tops and FLIR uh, templates from wow. like the 80s and stuff. But they're all pictures of my son. And I was wow, fucking dude. blown away. I, was, yeah. I didn't know Butchie and I didn't know him. Like I didn't know him. Like I know him now. And I don't really know him, know him now. Like, you I, know, we've met a bunch of times. We talk a lot, I guess, whatever a lot is, but through text or whatever, but mostly me bugging him to get me my all city sticker. Cause I had, I just got it. Um, nice. but, but you know, the, the, for somebody to take the time to do that, and he doesn't know me. He knows me through this crew. He yeah. knows me because we go out and try and find locations. Yeah. To have all these cards of my son and, and what it means to, you know, my life and our, our family and all this kind of stuff. Of it, became, it became instant sort of friendship. And it's funny now. So, you know, Butchie's a big Yankees fan and uh, he's the, I, he's the only, he's the only person that my son has signed an autograph for. So I got him to sign one of those cards. Uh, send it send it back to Butchie. And I was like, yo, one of one. And that's what our thing is about, right? Like yeah. that, that one of one, you know, kind of find. And I was like, hey, one, you know, one of one. You're the only guy he's ever signed for. And it's still to this day, like people say to him, Oh, Luke, sign this ball, sign this, because you know, they're friends, whatever, yeah. whatever. I'm like, yo, he only signs for one guy. And when when Luke had he had double ankle surgery double cast eight weeks nightmare situation but he got him fixed up the first time that we were able to go out and buy cleats that didn't have to fit over braces right yeah. so he wore braces for i guess not 12 years or something 13 years he wore braces on his feet had the surgery didn't need braces anymore and the first time we went out to buy cleats um for for baseball was like a big deal it was a big yes. deal and then and then the the next time we had to go out, we had to get a different size. And I took one of the old cleats and I had Luke sign it and send it to Butchie. Uh, like, yo, man, here's here's a cleat from from the first time I didn't have to, you know, have braces on my feet. Wow. So those types of connections, you know, with our crew is uh, they're really special. You know, they really they're, are. They're, they're super unique, bro. It's 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 an awesome thing. You know, my and and I think, you know, from following people on the side especially so early on right i'm just like oh you know mona seems like a cool dude to follow him naka seems like cool dude follow him you know danny whatever all these guys butchie all them 
the, you get to kind of know them, but I guess again, like it's what they curate, but sure. you know, my father, my, my father died. I got a message from somebody in our crew. I'll leave, you know, leave the name out, but you know, shared some personal stuff with their situation. And it's like, man, that dude didn't have to do any right. of that. That guy didn't yeah, have to man. do any of that and, yeah. and, and reach out like that. But why? Cause I've been to a house of pain show with them. Right. I ate, a, you know, went to a deli or had a slice of pizza at the firefly or whatever it is Yeah. with these people. And, you know, it, they've really become friends, you know what I mean? Yeah. They've become friends. Like uh, it's I, so I, true. I, I took a trip to Boston. I had a, had a day to myself, hit up my man, Joe Kelly up there. I'm like, Hey, I'm going to be in Boston. Let's, you know, let's hook up. He doesn't drink. I do. I said, like, hey, tell me a bar near you. I'll Uber to the bar. He's like, well, there's some spots around my house we could hit too, but L Street is right across the street from my house. It's right down the street from my house. So L Street Cafe or L Street Tavern, I'm sorry. L Street Tavern is right down the street. L Street Tavern's from Goodwill Honey, right? Ah. It's the bar from Goodwill Honey. So I'm like, I'll meet you there, dude. Yeah, like, hell yeah, there. I would be. I would do the same thing. That's where we'll do it. I go there. I have a beer. Joe comes in. First time I, I met him. I've only known him again. I've only known him through, you know, through this thing we do. Yeah. And we sit there, bullshit, talking, meeting people in the neighborhood, in Southie, doing what Southies do, drinking Buds and Jameson's on the bar. He, you know, has a coffee or whatever. Meeting all the guys from the, he knew everybody that walked through the, through the place. He, yeah. he knew. And then it, at the end we were like all right cool great night whatever I'm like come on let's go get a picture and we go sit at the booth where ben affleck and and matt damon sit and we're sitting there and we got it and i get home and i do the mash with him and me and you uh-huh. know damon and, and ben affleck and stuff but he was like hey i'll just drive you back to your hotel now listen i never met the guy before right he's yeah. like i'll drive back to the hotel who do i know he might be fucking killers crazy right. serial killer yeah. He's like, no, I'm going to take you. I'm going to take you for a ride through the city my way. We'll go back to where your hotel is. We're driving by departed spots. We're driving by Sick. Boston, you know, Irish mob spots. We're just, hey, he's over here, over here. Look at this. Look at this. It was fantastic. It was like, you know, yeah, dude. of a couple hours of just like bullshit and meeting people, having a beer, and then going yeah. and hitting locations and learning about the city, not from, you know, the, the, traveler's guide manual or something like that going and really seeing yeah. it and, you know it's those types of connections dude you you did, you did the same thing with me and now I, i'm sure some people know the story but i don't care if you do you'll hear it again mm-hmm. um you know like i didn't know you i had not met you in person yet you obviously saw that i was a huge rocky fan and you asked me just like that like send me your address because i have stickers for you or something like that so I was like, all right, cool. This is when I first started collecting all this stuff. Now I'm like a child and I have a huge <laughs> sticker collection. <laughs> yeah. It's yep. it's terrible. Yeah, I'm not going to I'm not going to try and talk you out of that description, but yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 I'm like 7 and <laughs> and I have a sticker collection and I don't care. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. Better than most. Yeah. I have a lot. I think I, I, I have the vast majority of all the stickers that have been made. I think, unless someone comes up with, you a know, bootleg. a bootleg, yeah, a bootleg, something, <laughs> yeah. But I think I do. I, I, right. might. I don't know. So you asked me for my address, I'm like, all right, whatever. I don't care. What are you gonna do? Send me a fucking pipe bomb or something? No. <laughs> so uh, you know, a few days later, I get this heavy ass box. I'm like, just like you said, I'm like, this isn't just stickers, or if it is. How many stickers did you just send me? Like five thousand, you know? Or it's stickers or it's stickers and a pipe bomb. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> like grenade in there. Right. So I open it and there's like bubble wrap and all kinds of stuff and 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 a, and a note from you basically saying I'll paraphrase. I actually have it somewhere. It's in my. It's on ice with all my other extra stickers from my right. nice cute little yeah. collection. The ones to have. Yes, yeah. and um, basically, you know, this is from. What is it, J J and L J and M J and M J and M Tropical Fish? I know you're a big Rocky fan, blah blah blah. So I know you'd appreciate it. And I, and dude, I'm telling you, I say it all the time. It's one of like my favorite things that I have. Yeah, it really is. Like 
I have so <laughs> much bullshit surrounding me right now. Yeah. But I know this Zoom technology with this fucking camera shit. Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> Say, uh, uh. There you go. That brick right there, it stays on my little end table in my living room. It's yeah. next to my couch constantly. But I'm like, that's a fucking brick from the pet store where Rocky met Adrian, bought Butkus and Cuff and Link. <laughs> yep. I'm like, some, some somebody would be like, yeah, whatever, it's just a brick. That's not just a brick to me. You know? No, what I'm it's not. And when I found out that they were knocking the building down, and that's not, again, that's like, you know, Kensington, it's about 45 minutes from where I live now. I was like, fuck. Yeah. I got to get... <laughs> Yeah. I got to get down there. I got to get something. I got to b- break a doorknob off, take something. Do something. got to get something from it. And, you know, when I got there, it was fenced in. And that's that's a fairly shady area still. It's a little, it's getting a little gentrified or whatever, but it's still shady. It is. And I was like, fuck this. I'm going in, in the fence. I'm grabbing what I can as fast as I can and getting the hell out of here. Would you grab five? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was. So I have one. Danny has one. You have one. My neighbor, who's a ridiculous Rocky Mark, is uh, he got one. He was because I posted it up and he was like, he, please tell me one of them is for me. Uh huh. So it sits up next to his TV in his china cabinet. Of course. Uh, mine sits over on a, an old keg from a party that we had some years ago uh, in my in my basement here. But, you know, it. listen, it's like I knew. I knew what you were into, at least. Yeah. What you well, it's like a little into. conversation piece, like, and it's not for sale. Like, right. I'll never sell that thing. It's fantastic. It's yeah. Fantastic. And those, yeah. listen, I was in that they, it hasn't happened in a well, while. I just did one. I just did a giveaway, but I, I was always a guy that bought one to keep, one to have, right? So anything that came out, I bought doubles of. So if it was hats, I bought doubles of. If it, only one I didn't get was this one. This was a gift from Nako, this backwards, the wrong, the wrong way flag one. Uh huh. So the flag should be going the other way, but this was a gift from Nako. He sent it in from California. Well, he- you gave me the first time that I met you in person was at the All Star Comic Con. Yep. Shout out to Kevin Bednars and Percival Percival Eats and yep. and and the Percival Ashburn Pub and um and the Ashburn Pub. Um, that was the first time I ever met you in person. And you, I, I remember like it was yesterday. It was me and Nikki and my daughter and you and Danny Boy was sitting like at the bar. Yep. And you handed me a rolled up T-shirt and it was, it, it, it's a large, but it, it doesn't matter. I wouldn't wear it anyway, even if it did fit, but <laughs> right. that's not the point. Right. It was the, it was the, the Delta Bravo Brooklyn logo, but the typo. Yeah. The typo. Yeah. And yep. you just and handed was- me that. I'm like, yo, this is like a good dude. Like you didn't have to do that either. You know yeah, what I'm saying? That was a gift too. Right. So I, that was a gift from the DS sent me. He sent me a 2X, which I still have never worn. It sits up in my closet because I'm like, I have like one cheesesteak stain on it. And I'd be. Yeah, I I have like 50 outside his house, house of pain shirts that I haven't worn. The one with the Jeopardy question. I have all this (laughs) shit. Yeah, right. But I wear like two of them. I wear this one, like uh, who you call them, bums pal. I have the one with the the cast, uh, you know, the the, the, the greaser crew member one that I wear. The white one, which I really <laughs> don't wear too much, is yeah, the, the Mustangs. They're tough. I'm not a white t-shirt guy, yeah. but I have like 17 white t-shirts that I'll never wear yeah. because it's from Danny and the outside his house or whatever. And everything he puts out from now on, I bought. I have a white Tulsa hoodie. My <laughs> daughter wore it. It was swimming on her, but you know and what? She probably loved it, right? She did absolutely. But it's you know, it, it, I would always buy one to keep one to have have the little stash and i still do all my stuff sits over here i was just going through it yeah but uh i started to do some giveaway stuff and i did some raffle shit and gave away some extras and then it kind of started when so after i got that orange and black logo i found out who did the original team stickers the original rip mca mca rip the boston stickers were all that Two and the a ones half. that are different, RIP, MCA, MCA, RIP. Yep, got them both. And I went to, and then the big black ones, the big, you know, three and a half inch black ones, found out who made them, the sticker guy in Reno, and ordered up. I had to order 1,500 Philadelphia orange and black stickers. I still have them in stacks all over my house. But, uh-huh. you know, and then I did something. This was right when Danny was doing 
the original like fundraiser GoFundMe stuff for the for the museum. And I was like, yo, make a donation, any amount, shoot me a screenshot of your donation. I'll send you some stickers. Right. Yeah. So to me, it was my sort of piece of fundraising because I was going to just send them to Danny and go like, hey, if you want to sell them, because he was just starting to sell or probably still going on but selling selling stuff on the website and i was like hey do you want to sell him he's like bro i'm so busy doing whatever you just do whatever you got to do and yeah i'm like i'm not collecting money from anybody like we're on the honor system you shoot me yeah. a screenshot that you put a five dollar donation into the house or whatever right i'll send you some stickers so that's how i got a lot of addresses and shit from people that's how i made a lot of connections from people because guys you know guys from all over were dming me you know yo here's my donation cool thing you're doing whatever whatever yeah I forget how much we raised for it or, or, or what was given, but whatever it, it is, cool, it was just a cool thing to do. You know what yeah. I mean? It's a cool thing to do. And it was a cool sort of connection piece. Yeah. With all the other guys like in the crew. And then, you know, I did the black and whites and got them sent out, just sent them on a whim. And then, you know, everybody kind of received them on the same couple of days. And next thing you know, it's like, yo, 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 thanks, thanks, thanks. And yeah, you know, I think that, that that's a, again outside of the outside of the core of this the whole fucking thing which is like location 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 go find some spots get outside and do it yeah the people that are connected to it um are really are are, are a, it's a unique segment of my life that i have and yeah kind of nobody else that i hang around with or whatever and you know is into this kind of thing or follows no. a couple guys i went i went on a trip to hawaii with work Dude, one of my favorite mashes ever you did. Fucking Gilligan's Island, dude. Yeah. The fucking intro from the old Gilligan, black and white. Gilligan. Yeah, first season. First season, black and white in uh, in the, the Yacht Club right there in, in Honolulu. And, you know, I went with a guy from work and he knew what I did. He's actually from our sign shop. So he's the dude that did all the different color Philly logos and the matches with the sports teams and all that crazy mm -hmm. shit. Cause he sits at a computer all day long and does not stuff. Shout out to Steve Angelo, but he, uh, he was with me and, and he arrived to Honolulu before I did. We're on the bus, we're coming in and the bus driver's like, if you look to your right, that's where the three hour tour began. Oh, shit. And I was like, get the fuck out of here. This is so crazy. Yeah. I'm on a, what you know what is kind of a work trip and it's a little you know it's with the eagles and bud light and all this kind of stuff so it's you know a bunch of big shots around whatever i get to the hotel room i'm like steve we gotta walk back to that yacht club i gotta hit the i'm only gonna ever be here once this is a trip of a lifetime yeah. go back and then i'm on the computer looking up old pictures looking at season one i posted up a, a wrong shot that i thought was in there that was ah. marina del rey and then that shot got canceled I hit a bunch of places, hopped up on a wall to take some shots of uh, of uh, Mr. Howe to walk into the boat that was in the Waikiki Yacht Club by a poolside thing. It was so it was crazy. <laughs> but, you know, you bring people in. And it's like, shit, that, that started our trip in Hawaii was fuck this. We're going we're walking back to that yacht club and going get yeah, you did Hawaii 5 -0 too. Yep, I have Hawaii 5 -0. Elvis in Hawaii 79. I got. Um, it wasn't that many because it was like I, I really different than like maybe you and Andy Katz and some of those guys that like deep dive into where they're going. You know, Andy just posted up his London thing. I'm like, yeah. holy shit, man. <laughs> like, yeah. This is crazy. Yeah. I had nothing. Fucking, because... it's, it's a, we challenge ourselves and we overload. Yeah, some of us wild. do. We overload ourselves. It's wild. And and I just hopped on my laptop because I had to take my laptop for work. And uh, I hopped on and I just start searching, you know, what, what can I find? What can I find? And the, the Diamond Head uh, uh, Hawaii Five O hit with Jack Lord was awesome. The, yeah. the, the Elvis in front of the hotel is one of the best matches that I've ever done. Uh -huh. we, were, we, we literally were standing in the spot where he stood, you know what I mean? Yeah, dude. In the opening of that of that special. So. You know, just, just getting out there and doing stuff. And then, you know, you have an opportunity to, sh to share it and show people what's going on and then also a system, you know? So I'm, it's funny. I'm actually, uh, that was seven years ago. So that was 2015, maybe. Okay. Um, 
we're actually going back to Hawaii at the end of this month. Nice. My family and I. And now I'm like, I gotta find locations to hit because I didn't I think know. I was gonna I didn't think I was gonna be there ever again, right? Hawaii once in a lifetime, but I'm like, now I'm going back. Now I gotta find like Dog the Bounty Hunter's office and I gotta try and find I'm sure dude, <laughs> just do a little research and yeah. I think you'll be in a rabbit hole. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah it's crazy. Nuts. But, like you know it, it's it, it's it's it when we went on our thing in when we did all city, right? So that shoot a little message out to you. All right, I want to do all city because I've been around this thing for a little while. I don't have you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of matches or whatever, but I'm, I'm in, right. I'm involved. When Butchie and, first put out that all city, I wasn't, I didn't even go all city yet. I needed the Bronx. As soon yeah. as he put that out there, I took my <laughs> to the fucking Bronx. Yeah. Right. I need that sticker for this fucking collection. Right. And listen, not for nothing, but you're like, all right, Danny, Mona, Nako, you. Oh, and they're like, I got to get in. I yeah. got to get in on that. I got to get in on that. But, you know, Philly, father, work life, the whole thing is like, yeah. how am I going to hit five boroughs? That's, this is insane for me to even think about. And I had already done mostly stuff in Manhattan. When I'm up in Manhattan, going to a House of Pain or Lacoca show or whatever it is, you know, we go up early in the morning. We try and find a couple locations. I hit some Joe Frazier, you know, yeah. Times Square, old Madison Square Garden spots. I hit some stuff. You know, nothing, nothing crazy. More about going to Old Town and having beers, you know, Buds and Jamesons, and then going to the show and then figuring it out. But when he posted that up, I'm like, ah, I need to get in on that. I need. Yeah, to yeah I, rem I remember when you hit me up. You were yeah. like, "Yo, is it possible to go all city in one day?" <laughs> and what right. did I say? Yeah, right. Sure. 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 That was the theme of the day. Sure, it was. But you know, <laughs> I had all these locations, sort of scoped out in new york to like oh if i ever make it to harlem i would love to hit this gangstar guru spot if i went and coming up with all the spots to go and do for all city was pretty was pretty cool so that 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 first shot that i did getting in touch with the photographer from the 70s that took the picture and him yes. going, oh, that's you know that was in front of that school and talking yeah. about paying attention to detail we're looking at like the marble the yeah. marble print, the grain in the wall from yeah. it's like, yo, this is exactly this where is exactly it is. where his hand was at when his yeah. finger pointed up. You know, that that one, the guru spot was really special. I'm a huge, huge gang stars fan. Yeah. That was a, a, a spot for me. The walk this way spot, you know, I just Andy just reposted that and I said to him, I'm like, you gotta understand, man, that you sharing that that address. For me to be able to go there, I have a picture of me somewhere either in this house or in my mom's house of, you know, 10 year old me holding that 12 inch single up of those yeah. dudes standing in front of that wall. I'm a little kid like to be able to go there and do it and do all this kind of crazy shit and do that DMC pose and all that yeah. was was out of this world. And to be able to do it in a day and you being as generous as you were to. Oh, I love this shit, dude. I was like, yeah, we're gonna do it again. And and it what was you know what was really cool is that since you're not from New York and it's like we're we're driving and we're in Harlem and we're going down 125th Street and you took like a triple take and you were like, is that the Apollo? Like the Apollo? I'm like, yeah, dude, like it is. You're like, holy shit. It's it was like, crazy. It was crazy. I was like, yeah, dude, that's the Apollo. <laughs> it was crazy. It was crazy. That driving past the 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 wonder wheel yeah on the bell yeah we're on the bell parkway you're like that's coming out that's the wonder wheel I'm like yeah warriors the parachute jump sure In, insane and i think that you know andy when when you when you did your your pod with andy and then talking to him actually later that day you know it was like you know those places are mythical yeah until you're there not to you you've been to coney island 750 million times like that last night yeah right Right. I saw you. I saw you posted that posted up. Yeah. But I've I've never been to Coney Island. That right. that, that to me is Oz. You know what I mean? It doesn't exist and it's Oz. I get that's it. hilarious. Yeah. Well, well, listen, we, we 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 went all city, all five boroughs in approximately six hours. Yeah, which is crazy. Which is well, like like I was saying, I don't know, what was this before I pressed record? I don't even know at this point, but it was like less than like an actual work day. 
Mm-hmm. Like six hours. I yeah. was like, yeah, I we can get this out easy. Like, like we go to the furthest place first, which is all the way up in the Bronx. Yeah. And then we work our way down and then whatever. Then we, we end up, we wanted to end up in Brooklyn last shot. Yep. At yeah. The- and have lunch in Lenny's. At, at Lenny's. At Lenny's, which was yeah, fantastic. Right, little right. throw in. Little throw in nugget there. Oh, by the way, we're gonna go have pizza from Saturday Night Fever. Like, yeah, get the fuck out of here. This is so yeah. Crazy. So we sit in the back in an old school pizzeria and have a slice where John Travolta was. Sure, fantastic, fantastic. But, <laughs> yeah. You know, I'll tell you what. So that that trip is like in the all time list for me, right? Of things that I've done because right. of the whole experience, right? We just talked about and yeah, starting early, getting picked up at Madison Square Garden, hopping in your truck. Yeah. Let's go and just do what we do. Yeah, it was fantastic. the The meetup at the end was great, right? Yeah. So we're with all all kinds of like minded people, and some guys showed up that, hey, we're just hanging out. We're taking pictures. We'll buy the you know the Beastie Caddy and all this kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, but then to find out, Danny Johnson's in town. Yeah. And that mug's going all city. At the same time, (laughs) same thing without any conversation about yo, I'm going up, you're going up. Like, we, you know, legitimately, we could have rolled as a Uh, we could have three, three jump on in, let's do it and do them. But he was like, Oh, yeah, I'm doing you know, I hit all city today too. Like, get the fuck out, it's so awesome! (laughs) So awesome. He's out hitting spots. Andy Katz is like, I'm in town for four hours, I gotta try and hit 70 spots and go to. (laughs) <laughs> and, and go to MCA Park and all this kind of stuff. Yeah. Adam Yacht Park was crazy, you know. Spend yeah. the day hitting locations and then doing this meetup was was a fantastic, fantastic. It really is like one of the special things that I've done. And like yeah. I tell you, you know those 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 things that sort of take me away, yeah, get me out of the everyday and the norm of of what you know my life is and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, is is awesome. And Andy's right, like. Driving past the Wonder Wheel, yeah. Thinking about the Warriors, going, holy shit, man! It's yeah. fucking real, and it's right there. And it looks exactly the same. And it looks exactly the same. And yeah. now I got to go do Warrior spots, and I got to try and find one and try and do. You know what well, I mean? Well, like, well, here's the deal. I mean, like, like I'll pick it back off what we said before. You know, we we always. Uh, well, some of us, I'm very guilty of it. We put so much on our plate to hit so much, hit so much. So after we did all city, what did we do? Like, it was like the very next day. We're like, we got to do it again. I was like, no, we can't just do that again. We have to make it even more. So so we're going to do all city plus one, which is Long Island. We add Long Island to it. So the five boroughs plus Long Island. In one day. And what? Yeah. And it's, it can be done easily. And there's, I think that I was, you know, I've been thinking about too, because I do want to try and get it in this summer, hopefully, but there are some, of those already been hit spots. So that, what? That for me, for me are ridiculously I- iconic. Like I want to have that experience of making it to Oz and standing in front of, you know, uh, the, the, the Godfather house or the spot where Vito gets shot or the warrior spots or Van Cortland park or all the, you know, all these things that are all like, so easily accessible. Dude. Yeah. Right. And it's all there. And luckily, listen, the majority of them are easily accessible because all I got to do is search on our, on our, on our page and there's the address and there's every, where everything's at. Yeah. But I do want to, I do want to hit that Chuck D spot. That's my little nugget for myself. That Of course. Has, Why not? I've had in there, but I think we can do it in a day. I don't, you know, I know we can do it in a day easily. Yeah. So we yeah, got to start off bright and early. We basically, we do basically, uh, depending on where you want to end up, we do the same kind of thing. We start off up in the Bronx. We work our way back down. But then once we hit Queens, we travel out to Long Island because Long Island is basically the appendix to Queens. Yeah, right. So once we hit Queens or we could go shoot through Queens, go out, hit Long Island on the way back through Queens. We hit a Queens spot and then continue on. I'm in for whatever. Yeah, me too. Come on, you already know this. Sure. Sure. Like, sure. Uh, why sure. not? Sure. <laughs> if we go here, sure. Yeah. If we go here, sure. Yeah. Because right. right. because why not? Like, it's... All right. But this is what we're doing, so we're going to do it. Yeah, it's it, it really is, um, you know, it's... Uh, this thing has gone through, like Mona was talking about, some iterations and some people that, 
you know, weren't necessarily following the rules and all that kind of stuff. And it, I think that it's 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 really has a good core group of people. Yeah, guys yeah, that I, I've seen, I, guys that I call I've been in. There's been some people that I see all of a sudden they're all here, then they just fall by the wayside and nowhere to be found again or whatever. Yeah. But there's a solid core of people. There's a solid core of people, all good dudes, you know, like in the in the beer business, they teach it like there's two things you don't talk about when you go in the bar is is politics and religion, because it'll only get you like in trouble. On you know, half the room will hate you and half the room will love you. Yeah. And the fact that there's like no bullshit. No. Not for nothing, not for nothing, but you know, that picture of us at 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 Adam Yacht Park and my wife is like, all you guys buy your clothes at the same place. Like everybody's <laughs> in a black yep. t-shirt and they either got you know camo shorts on, the shell top Adidas, everyone, you know, whatever. A but different like, variation of a Delta Bravo hat. Yeah, some <laughs> some weird color, some goofy flag, whatever, whatever yeah. it is on there, you know, trying to trying to be a little bit different, but you know everybody sort of has that same kind of core interest and stuff, yeah. but, then, but, you know, and then, you know, you, you, you got somebody like Randy that, that comes in I met Randy and Randy Schnosky. I ran, yeah. met him in Tulsa. At, Such a at, great, great. I did. met him in person, but spoke to yeah. him several times. Fantastic. 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 Salt of the earth guy. I, I mean, he'll call me every once in a while. He's like, yeah, I just want to tell you, he's just too much to text and he'll call me and, I'm like, he's just it's, such a good dude. I already have a plan for next summer, 2023. <laughs> We're going to Cali. Nice. And it's like. My Hawaii trip has three days in California. Yeah. Uh, we've got, we're, we're going a total, a total of, of either nine or 10 days. The getting there and leaving, those days don't count no matter what time it is. So it's a solid at least seven full days of smashing as much oh as God, possible so. in Cal. It's awesome. And, co- and coffee with Naka, right? Coffee with Naka. I want to go meet up with Randy. I mean, I mean you know, stuff like that. Like, yeah, 100%. It's, it's cool. I made, you know, that, that Tulsa trip was cool. I made friends with the, the Wagner brothers, the 52 pickup kids, like, you know, just back. See, I, wish I, could talk, I wish I could talk about it because right now, as, as we're recording this, I'm not on my road trip yet, but when this drops, I'll either be on my road trip or right back from it. Nice. So I wish I could talk about it. You yeah, know right. I mean? but, but I'll be in, t- I, I was in Tulsa, you know, about a week ago. <laughs> right. You'll love it. Tulsa is an awesome, awesome town. I was only there a sh- that short weekend. I flew mm-hmm. in, flew out, but you know, again, it was one of those getaways and, you know, it costs a little bit of coin to get there and find a hotel and stay in short notice and all that stuff. But, you know, Chris Wagner, Wagoneer, Wagner, Wagoneer. I think it's, I think it's, I think it's Wagoneer. 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 But he's a huge Bud Light fan. That's one of the beers I, I, I sell every single day. And I sent him like a care package kit. Nice. All kinds of shit. You thought I, you know, sent him a million dollars. He he loves it. His brother's awesome. That, but like, you know, just to just to kind of have those connections with people and see what they do and talk to them and 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 have that little little bit of thing. And then this common, you know, this common ground of of location, 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 and trying yeah. to, you know, and and like you you've talked about it on your other pods, but it's like. You watch a movie, you see a commercial, you hear a song, you see an album cover, you see a video, you see this, you see that. Somebody brings up somebody brings up a movie and hey, been work or whatever. I'm like, oh, I hit that. I hit a spot from there. Did you know? Did you know that was right around? You know that that uh, that fallen location with Denzel. Yes, you gave me fallen, and you gave me one from Unbreakable with Bruce Willis. Yeah, Yeah. I've got both of them. Yeah, that. So like that fallen location was in my in my folder of spots not hit and when you when you sent it it was like all right there's cobblestones and you know philadelphia's known for cobblestones but there's only there's only a handful of places where they're still exposed and exist right but then this offshoot you know out in kachahawk and maniunk area of uh, of cobblestones they still exist and you know i went in and i had just after my the company i worked for got bought out the new guy that I worked for, new vice president, their building, their original building was, was in Kachahakan, was in that area, Manning of Kachahakan. And I went into his office, vice president of the company. I went into his office and I was like, 
hey man real quick this looks familiar because <laughs> these houses these houses don't look like south philly or center city these houses look like roxborough manion concha right. whatever and he was like look up marciano's bakery I was like, okay, never heard of it. He's like, look up Marciano's Bakery on Google Maps. Pull it up. He's like, now walk, go down the street, make a left right there. And sure as shit, on Google Maps, down, turn left, and you're looking up that hill. Uh huh. The cobblestones, the right house, the right shutters, the door frame, all this shit is, all this shit is the same way. I was like, no way, man, no way. And now he's he's a South Philly born and bred dude. He's like, oh, I want to, you know, I want to hit a spot. I want to hit a spot. Now we just, it's funny about it. I guess last summer we went on this, we called it the hotel plan, as goofy as that sounds. People from work, people from work that are gonna listen to this thing, they're gonna laugh. But <laughs> we went on the hotel plan, and basically our business wasn't or isn't all that great in some of the hotels in center city, and there's you know 50 or whatever. So myself, a, a different vice president in our company, and one of my sales managers, we're going to meet in Rittenhouse Square, same spot where I met Phil. We're going to meet in Rittenhouse Square. We're backpacking it. We got samples. We got sell sheets. We're talking about it. We just want to go gain information. Well, we're waiting in Rittenhouse Square, and I was like, oh, shit. I got a Rocky Two spot in my not done file. <laughs> Let me go try and find where this is at so and then i'm looking at sconces on the wall and the on the buildings in the background and i'm looking at uh -huh. the arches and the doors and the this and the that and the vp who i kind of just started working for this this different guy he was like what are you doing and i was like i have to find this spot right before we leave but there was a really distinct planner like a like a stone planner on one yes. of the pylons i know the exact man she's talking about yeah right so i'm like I have to just find this. And he's like, what are you doing? And I showed him. Next thing you know, backpacks are sitting on a bench. Beer samples are sitting on the bench. And we're walking around Rittenhouse Square trying to find. And he's like, I see it. It's right here. I think it's right here. The guy, the other guy I was with was like, yo, what are you doing? We take 20 minutes out of the hotel plan because I got a Delta Bravo <laughs> spot real quick, which is nice. Because like in my, I have a, a somewhat new role in our company now where my, my territory is expanded to oversee eight counties so in my in my introduction speech to what is now my sales team and all this stuff you know it's like a little bit of get to know you you know who are you what do you do because most of the people there didn't they knew who i was but they didn't know me they didn't know who i was my little team now i have this big team whatever all right and one of the things i put up there and i was like look if we go on a ride with and i'm in your territory and you want to get in and you want to really start the day off well do a little research and try and find a little pop culture location or a true crime location or yeah. a music location. And I was showing spots on the slideshow, you know, on the PowerPoint behind <laughs> me of like mashes and logos. That's and it awesome. So <laughs> it was so weird because like, this is my own little weird thing that I do, whatever. And, and, you know, I have a, a group of guys I talk to about it and we all get off yeah. of whatever, but now I'm talking to like, you know, like this company, like, I don't, you know, yeah, it's great. But I'm showing, you know, I'm showing locations, I'm showing taking shots and then logos and all city. And this is a this is a badge we got from hitting five boroughs in one day and all stuff. Well, sure as shit, as soon as it's done, as soon as the meeting's over, guys are walking up to me going, Hey, I know a spot in Allentown. I know I know a spot in Delaware County that we can that's hit. awesome. Next time you run with me, let me know. We'll start our day at da 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 or we'll start our day up here and yeah and i was like man this is so great like it's awesome you know? and again it comes back to the people like that connection that i have with all you guys and everybody that's on here yeah something that's really valuable in the business that i'm in like i have to make connections with the people that are working you know with me side sure. by side and you know they're all individuals and they're all new it's like i gotta get to know these guys and i gotta get to you know figure them out but let them do a little bit of homework and we start the day off good doing a, you know, hitting a mission and, yeah. and doing, you know, doing a, doing a, a, a mashup or whatever. Yeah. And, and then go and try and sell as much Budweiser as we can, or whatever, <laughs> right. as we can you know what I mean? Yeah. But it really is. Uh, it's, it's a cool thing. And I, and, and the, the evolution of it yeah. by having, 
really creative minds. Yeah. You know, as well as, um, I guess, you know, not to, not to be corny or whatever, but just caring people, you know, just caring people oh, that are oh, like, yo, oh, this yeah. is what we do. And, you know, have a good time doing it. Yeah. You know, collect memories, not things, and all those little, love that. All those little blurbs that go out there. Or those give little, a good day. Yeah. Give a good day. I, those, those, I have that sign in my office that, yeah. Those, you know, those little isms that come out of this thing, like, you know, yeah. go outside and just go inside or whatever. You know, I say yeah. that to guys when I'm like, just go in, just go in that place and talk to that guy, man. Just yeah. go in. You'll never get anything done if you don't walk through the door, you know, go in. Right. There. But, to, you know, to be a part of it and see the evolution of it um, from, you know, simple side-by-sides to mashes to, you know, in and out mashes to yeah. new logos to, you know, you and Andy trying, you know, taking 50 shots to make sure that the doorknob fucking lines up. you damn right. You know, all yeah. of that stuff. We're going and hitting it a different season because the trees got are blooming and it's blocking the... the you got to get that, that shot correct. Scaffolding yeah, right. on buildings is the enemy. Yeah. I, I, you know, to see the evolution of that and the, and the creativeness um, that comes out of it is yeah. it's impressive, man. It's impressive. It and, you know, you know, we talk about that coffee table book and all that kind of stuff and you know yeah. danny was the Naco and those guys were talking about shopping a show and all that like you know the creativity that goes into it's huge to just to 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 literally just put it out for free yeah to some guys that i think would be interested in yeah in, in yeah. seeing in seeing schoolie d in front of city hall you know right it brings you back it's nostalgia from your own life it just it's it's yeah. There's so much of it. And talk about creativity. Like I have to give a shout out to Greg Smith. You know, he does, I don't think he goes and smashes things, but at motion kitchen on Instagram, oh, yeah. like, he's the one that puts this video together and the, awesome. and the, the graphics and I'm not going to lie the roadside thing in the beginning. Yes. That road shot. Yeah. Is so hype. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's, it's awesome. It gets, it's like that. I love the beginning and the end of these podcasts. Yeah, man. And, and, and what's coming out of them. And, I, you know, I think that, you know, I sent you a message after you were like, yo, you're up next. You're like, yeah. whoa, 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 whoa. And I, you hey, know, you're in the on deck circle. Yeah. Bro. Right. Which is, which is fine. Hey, my, you know, my number gets called out. I'm, I'm in, but <laughs> you know, there's, there are some really great people that are in this, in this thing. And there's some yeah. guys that have been in it a lot longer than I, and there's some guys that are, are pillars of our, of, of our thing that, you know, the, whether they mash it a ton or they throw something out there yeah, it doesn't a matter. while or they're part of they're part of the the, the crew and the banter and the collecting yes. and the blah, blah, blah. you know i think that that this this thing this podcast is is going to really evolve as well and i think that you know if it's just for us then so be 50 it. 50 core dudes that are in this thing and follow the page and yeah buy every hat and buy every sticker and uh -huh. whatever, whatever, if it's for us, if it's a chance to, to get to know, you know, some people just a little bit better. Yeah. Um, I think that, I think that it's a job well done, you know, yeah, but the, 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 the level that it's been taken to from just simple, like, you know, like I said, I remember sending Danny, like the, 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 early on shots that i did and it's like well you know maybe it'll make it up to the main one right. you know the original gilligan's island that gilligan's island opening scene i had a little logo in the corner danny put on the gilligan's island logo i don't know how to i still don't know how to do that right because i can't get the backgrounds taken off fred will tell you that i'm like fred can you make it transparent can you give me this can you give me that but you know to to see that evolution to now into this and then you know you got some of these newer guys you know sean coming on and you know he's got posts yeah. uh, you know every single day and you know he in the beginning he's like hey can you put a la logo on this thing can you put a la logo and i'm like all right i do it in powerpoint i'll try <laughs> I'll, yeah i'll try and get around to it man and i think he's got i don't know who's doing it or if he's doing them himself now but it would take me forever because i'm like i gotta get my laptop out i got right all right you know, but you know the evolution of 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 what we have going on and the people that are involved in it. And, you know, I think that the groundwork of, of 
standards that we have, right? Put the yeah. logo on it, share the address, address. Complete address. Don't if it's a movie, right, who it's directed by. If you're really savvy, yeah, tell you a little, little YouTube clip or something. Yeah. Phil does that all the time. Yeah, tell a little story. Do a little bit of research. Share what you yeah. found. If you're interested, great. If you're not, keep scrolling on and yeah. find find something that does interest you. That's and, it. you know, and like, just be, be cool with everybody. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, don't, don't, cool. don't, it's, it's, not, it's not a competition amongst <laughs> ourselves. 46 it's, like, years saying, old. it's like, oh, you know, there's, there's been things done a million times. Just like in, in Philly, the sixth sense, the red door. Yeah. I knew it was done a million times. I happened to be in the neighborhood. I wanted to be there myself. So yeah. I did it. It's not like I'm finding new ground or planting a flag anywhere. It's about your own personal experience. And you know what? Like some people, I don't know, they wouldn't tell me, but it's like, oh, you know, I, I, who, who, who posted it? I think Andrew, uh, Andrew just recently posted something because he, he, he found the spot in Silence of the Lambs. Yep. And he, he wrote something like, oh, I think I'm going overboard. And I commented, I was like, says who? Yeah, right. Like, says who? like who? Somebody that doesn't go out and hit spots? Like, nah, man, do your thing. Yeah. And that's yeah. it. It's like, and then I thought about myself. I'm like, and it was a thing with my daughter. It's like, how many basketball diary spots have I hit? A all ton. Yeah. A Don't ton. All. Goodfellas, a ton. I, I, I've hit so much. Even like some, like a random movie, like 1975, The Stepford Wives. I hit a million spots. Yep. You not, You might not necessarily like it. Somebody will. But somebody might. Yeah. And, and, I, and I said this, um, I think it was with Mona. You know, not every single spot that I've hit is something that I'm like the biggest, biggest fan of per se. You know, I'll go, since I happen to be there, I'll do it and I'll post it up because somebody else might be super interested to know where that spot is. Bro, I hit crisscross at Penn's Landing. I know you did. They're your favorite though. <laughs> yeah, right. right. <laughs> Yeah, right. I actually, crisscross. I, I take this down and put the crisscross post. There. Absolutely. Yeah. That's what myself. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's awesome what you're doing. I think that I think it's awesome what everybody's doing. I think that every contribution, every little bit, whether it's a side by side, it's it's a yeah. full build match, it's a damn video. It's of a course. YouTube, it's, and it's, like, it's like what we were talking about, like like throughout, we would you know, here and there. It's like me and Nikki, the, the last two days, we hit 14 mob locations. It's awesome. So now people might be like, oh, well, all the mob shots. But you know what? It's history, dude. You might not be, you know, you might not like it. Yeah. But I know that there's a whole bunch of people that are like, dude, you're killing it. These are awesome. Because for some reason, there's, a, there's an affinity for mafia stuff and good fellas. So this is like the real life stuff. Yeah, right. It's all yeah. around here. So he is not the, like he is fact versus fiction. Like, and I posted like I, in the movie Goodfellas, this is what's said. But in real life, this is what happened. And this is exactly what the deal is. Yeah, right. So it's history and it's and it's whatever you're into. And I have a ton more of mob spots. I found, bro, we found, we found <laughs> ready for this. You want to talk about a challenge and putting a lot on your plate? Actually, I give props to Nikki because she's going to get us into this whole fucking shit show. Yeah. I found a list and I think there's 345 of them <laughs> of mafia social clubs and hangouts. Holy shit. Within the five boroughs. I have a couple from Philly that in the past week or so that I've uncovered and gone like, eh. Next time I'm down South Philly, I'll go. Yeah, there. you go hit it. Yeah. You go hit it. I think it's great. Yeah. So it's like, listen, so be prepared for some mafia shit. But but like like I said, like today, like I was I was putting together, we hit a whole bunch of mafia stuff, and then we were in the area, so I hit a couple of spots from Bad Lieutenant because we were up in East Harlem. So I'll throw in the mafia stuff, and then and then I'm going to throw in movies and other stuff. You know, it can't just be – I can't just post mafia stuff. Yeah, right. You know, I, I got to switch it up a little bit. But with a steady stream of mafia stuff sprinkled in there. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. There nah. is there is a there is a, a hidden one that I'm I've been like in in recreation. I've just been looking. Is uh, Nikki Scarfo's Nikki Scarfo's uh, grave is a apparently unmarked and unpublished. They, really? You know, yeah, I don't know where they put them. So I've been down that wormhole a little bit after i found the angelo bruno one i was like oh, oh, where's you know what's awesome when you find an unmarked grave because we found an unmarked grave in pennsylvania is that H the H serial killer one hh holmes yeah. 
Yeah. And you can tell because it's like a tombstone, a really big space, and then another tombstone. That's and then I and then I found like this whole thing that they actually tried to exude, uh, like exhume him to make sure he was there. And I found those pictures and I saw there was like a tombstone with like a, a crack and a chip in one <laughs> corner. And I found the cemetery. And then when we pulled up, I was like, it's right. It was like right off the side of the road. I'm like, holy shit. And then once you're there, it's like, okay, you can see that there's someone here, but there's just no tombstone, but the spacing. So and then I looked at the picture. I'm like, I'm standing right now on top of H.H. Holmes unmarked grave. Heavy. Wow. Wild. Wild. Yeah. So we have one more spot that mutually we have to try and get done. Let's do it. And then we can go to your sponsors. Okay. We were talking earlier. <laughs> we were okay. talking earlier. This thing could go all night. If we're we, going ill building. If we really wanted it to, but yes. We need to get you know the old tank it's got. Oh, come on, bro. <laughs> It's I got, got the phone little, number. I got, got one of those old tanks. It's got one of those old tanks on the wall. Yes. Well, I told you what, <laughs> what, what my plan is. Bro, you want <laughs> I want to put my hazards on and stop traffic on the George Washington well, that, Bridge. That, okay, two that we have to do. Yes. That plan, that plan came about during all city. Yes. So like I'll stop traffic. Sure. I will. I'll hey, pretend I have a flat. Hey Jimmy, you know when they make the turnaround when they're going to the meeting? You think we could get that shot? Sure. I'll just, stop traffic. I'll just stop traffic on the bridge. Okay. Yeah. We'll just Jump be prepared. Just get your camera out. Just be prepared. I'll put my hats on. I'll pretend like I have a blown out tire, which I don't. But I, I'll put my hats on. Everyone has to relax for five minutes and then that's it. But the the, the drywall piece or the plaster piece, probably. Yeah. Behind that, behind that toilet from the Godfather. Is, yeah, I got I, I mean, got it. We that's gotta go in. real Indiana Jones in the Temple of Doom. I'm gonna go in there with a sheetrock knife in my back pocket. I'm gonna <laughs> pretend. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pretend like I'm some sort of asbestos abatement guy. Fluorescent vest. I'll put a fluorescent vest. I'll carry a clipboard. Hat. I'll put an odd hat on and a clipboard and a cup of coffee. <laughs> I'm in. But we're gonna be walking out with sheetrock. People are gonna think we're out of our minds. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. All day. That's so how it's caught in the Bronx. So let's. Uh, Let's start thinking about a date for 2.0. And, uh, you know, I think we throw it out there. If there's anybody that wants to join us when we're up that spot, you know Why where not? to find us, right? You know where to find us. Very easy and simple. Jump in. But like I said, I think that the the evolution of this stuff and being on here, this is totally out of my my comfort zone. I'm out not, of your wheelhouse. Yeah, I'm not, a, I'm not a huge, you know, share like that type of dude, but. Uh, it's a delta. Yeah, it's a privilege. It's a it's a privilege, and I'm grateful to to. Ah, dude, it's yeah. a, we're, we're, we're I really all, am. I really am because it's. I listen. I've been following this thing for a long time, and it's, you know, again to see it become this and to see these conversations and get to know people a little bit better is awesome. It really, yeah, man. It really is. One hundred percent. I couldn't agree more, brother. Nice. So you ready to do? You ready for the sponsors? <laughs> Yeah, let's, let's right. bring in the sponsors. Let's bring in the sponsors. <laughs> well, I know you're a beer guy, but are you a coffee guy? Uh, on occasion. All right. Well, on occasion. All right. Dead sled, co- Dead sled Coffee. Follow them on Instagram at Dead Sled Coffee. Hey, Joe, if you go to DeadSledCoffee.com and you put in promo code Delta Bravo, you'll get 20% off of your order. Right. You know, bro, you don't have to just drink coffee. They have tea. They have cold brew iced coffee. They I like that. Iced like tea. That. Oh, they have all kinds of stuff. You know, I'm in for I'm in for some of that limited edition stuff you've been hitting around too. There you go. Just just because, right? Yeah. Gotta have it. Gotta why why not? Gotta gotta put it with the rest of the collection. But of course you do. All right. right. Yeah. So shout out to Dead Slide Coffee. Um, also Tom from Main Street Jukebox in Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania. How far is Stroudsburg from you? Stroudsburg is like in I think it's less than an hour from here. All and right. Tom is Tom is pretty close all um, right and you know i think he 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 uh he jumps in when we got it all things pennsylvania or somewhat close to philly or whatever so yeah me and tom got a little little connect great dude by the way met him yeah. at a house of pain show for like a second and a half he was over here going crazy i was going yeah. he was uh of course. good people though but Main Street Jukebox. Main Street Jukebox. Yep. Follow them on Instagram at Main Street Jukebox. M-A-I-N-S-T Jukebox. 
and, and legit too by the way i have friends that are in the whole vinyl scene and all that kind of 1994 stuff. i think they've been open since yeah that have have ordered stuff from tom asked tom to order to try and find all that kind of stuff tom's been on a mission to try and find this record of joe frazier singing that he put oh, out shit. yeah and i said i told him i'm like you know keep your eyes open if it ever yeah. comes in it'll give me a reason to drive up to Strasburg and there you go and meet you but he's a he's good people that's for sure yeah. so shout out to main street jukebox and as always support the outsider's house museum the the delta bravo urbex team page on instagram um this instagram page which is delta bravo mission statements and all I ask is hit the link in the bio, follow the page, and, and the link in the bio is where you can find everything from the official website where you can buy merch, the Outsider's House, every single Facebook page, every Instagram page, the YouTube, Spotify, everything Delta Bravo and Mission Statements related is in the link in the Delta Bravo Mission Statements Instagram. Like and subscribe, all that good stuff. All that stuff. Throw a comment, share it. How about people share it? You know what I mean? Yeah. Share the group. You you go to the group on Facebook, which is just mission statements, adult the Bravo Urban Exploration Team Podcast. You hit the click invite and invite your fucking friends. Yeah. You know, let's get some people, you know, out of the house that, that didn't realize that they have a passion to go find nonsensical things like an unmarked grave of a serial killer, you know. All good. It's all good. All good. Crisscross at Penn's Land. <laughs> Chris, yeah. There you go. <laughs> all right, man. Joe, my man. Thank you so much, brother. It was awesome. And, yeah, and 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 we'll, obviously we always keep in touch anyway. But yeah. we'll we'll zone in and we'll, we'll we'll go back and forth and we'll we'll decide on all city two point oh plus one plus one. I love it, yes, sir. I love, I love it. it too. All bro. right, Jimmy. Do your thing. Be safe. You too, man. Thank you. Anytime. See ya. Later, brother. Yo, Les, what up, baby? Corona Queens of Pennsylvania.